if I remember correctly, I mean, I installed this a few days ago. This is some kind of turn-based uh, RPG. See if I can get the source for this. Any minute now. All right. Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat at, on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the, or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. It's been a while since I downloaded this, uh, this game. I wanted to make it just make sure I understand what I'm going into. So yeah, it's a strategy game. It seems to be like a strategy turn-based RPG. That's what I'm getting from in the in the uh, trailers. It is focused around some kind of atmospheric horror themes. So let's just dive into it. Black Book Prologue. Here we go. down a bit more that's good let me tell you a story oh never mind you will tell me the story shed in a town not far from here surrounded by wheat fields and pine trees in that town lived Vasilisa she was chosen to be brought up to be a Zanatka that's what we call sorceresses around here Soon enough, Vasilisa fell in love with a man. Soon, a terrible thing. And what a man! Killed himself. He likes staring into you, into your soul. Those who take their own lives are doomed to an eternity in hell. A truth Vasilisa could not accept. Her teacher, old Egor, gave her the legendary artifact, the Black Book. But will it be able to bring him back? Asked Vasilisa. Yes, if you open all seven of its seals, Egor replied. And so, Vasilisa and Egor set out to find a way to unlock the seals. Nice little starting exposition. Game by... Morteshka. Is this a solo developer? Sheridan District of Perm Guberna, 1879. I've slept badly this night. I've been waiting, hoping for your hoping for your return. But you did not return. You did not again sit at the table. What are you up to now, my sweetheart? Where are you headed? From relatives and from the warm summer, you've departed. There is no entrance or exit for you, it seems. From the cold Mother Earth. And even no fence of a church to hold on to. Enough. I don't believe you did it to yourself. It will be well. All will be well. I will take the knowledge from Grandpa. I remember what you thought of that. But there is no other choice. I will drag you from that road myself. And you can sleep. For now. It won't take long. Okay. Nice little fire effects here. Kind of a... Can't tell. It's that's not 3D. That's like 2D fire, right? 2D effects. Anyway, it doesn't look too bad. Not a holy land. This is yes. Graves are not considered holy land unless you you know want it to be. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you go back, please? Go back. 
Okay, there we go. I, I thought this was a point and click walking. Oh my god, that face. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop swar swerving around like that. That's weird. I need to go to the crossroads. The needles are golden already. Okay, so I can move with WASD, but I can also move using the, uh, I can point and click on the ground. Oh, what, what's that? Head herb? Adam's head. Adam's head helps from white wounds. A useful thing on any journey. Restores five. Oh, okay. This is kind of a weird... Can't quite place what's happening. Okay, let's go to the field. Field. Go. The spring is so hot this year. Okay, so there's... What? I can't really place it. Like, it's part point-and-click adventure, part adventure? I, I don't understand. How to become a witch. Wow, what was that shaking just now? The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You are at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old old Egger. Old Egger raised you since the time your parents have died. He has taught you the basics of witchcraft. Oh, I'm a witch. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what may happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come around. Hey, what's up? Oh, hand-drawn scenes here. Wherever have you been? It will be midnight soon. Go over there, by that milepost. There is everything you need for the ritual over there. Take the candles. We will light them and draw the circle. Yes, gang. Go to the milepost. Take your time. Oh, hold on. I gotta sneeze. Ah, sorry about that. All right, candles. Gives three... Looks like a shield in the first round. It will defend me from the devils. Oh, is that a devil? What are you? You're so big. Can I touch you? Nope. And, um, okay. I was stuck for a second. Oh, more herbs. Adam's head. Uh, what was that? The covered crosses are here for the foul deceased, no less. Otherwise, why would they be on the crossroads? They say Mikhail the merchant was killed here by... Oh, there's more dialogue. All right. Well done, wrestler. Good job getting those candles from the milepost. <laughs> you are certainly a witch now. Uh, let, let's... Now let's draw the circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps, otherwise we'll be crushed by the devils. Alright, how, how do I do that? Oh, draw the circle. I've made a circle. Is it all, is it all right, Grandfather? Circle is drawn. No gaps. Good. Too late to dither now. You think I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. Time for you to take my knowledge. Long time we spent together. Parting with it is both hard and sweet. Well, take it. Oh. Oh. Would you look at that? What power blasts from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I've taught you. Read the spell. I'm not scared. I shall get up and not make a sign of the cross, but I shall go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I shall draw a circle and step into it. And I shall speak. 
Good merchants, come and buy my cat. What? This is a spell? For the cat gives me not an inconvertible trouble, nor fine hat, but bestow me with the knowledge of the dark, and eyes with vision sharp. As I said, so it will be. My words are stone. That's a cat? That looks like a dog. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully if you value your life. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Time for your first spell. Welcome to your first battle. Oh, okay. So this is the turn-based part. Battle consists of turns. First, it's your turn. Then the turn of your enemies. Really? That's how turns go? I didn't know that. Uh, you will win when you defeat all the enemies. All right. This is the black book. It contains all your words that make up your spells. Now try reading the first word called Urazi. Press and turn button to read a spell. All right. Urazi! Defended. The word that was read is now overridden. The black book changes each word after they are read. Oh, words with defense effect absorb enemy damage. Defense reduces the damage, but remains active only until the end of the turn. Read the word Avdelai with defense effect. Can I read them both? Nope. Adlai. All right. Uh, such intended words protect from the demons, but this protection fades quickly. So it's kind of like the block effect for like a lot of the like uh, like slay the spire when you, you know you have the block effect that blocks attacks. But this one is like each point in protection will block one attack. That's interesting. Such enchanted words protect from the demons, but this protection fades quickly. So strike the demon with your words, with your spells. Each turn you may read several words. Now you can read three words, which is indicated by empty places near the top of the screen. Word types consist of orders and keys. At the moment, you can use two orders and one key. The book has bookmarks which help you find necessary words. Okay. So let's start with Urazi. Uh, finish with Adlai. And then... Oh. Can I cancel this? Because here's what I want to do. Uh, let's get Raha in. We'll do double Urazi. Get that. Take that. And then Raha. I like how she waves. <laughs> how she waves where I was like, I want none of that shit. Good job, Vaisya. This demon is nearly gone. A couple more spells to rid the world of it. Black Book helps you in understanding the enemy. You can see what an enemy's intention is. Oh! I thought that the protection spell is like, blocks one at each point, blocks one attack. But this guy is just weak. He only does one damage. Alright. Uh, I don't have... What? All right, I got Ruda. I'll do that. What is this? Deals three damage each round. So this is a blessing. These blessings might be permanent effects. Each attack in each word for four. Increases attack in each word for four. Okay. Less. And I'll have an Ogli too, I guess. Georgie Batsut... Okay. <laughs> Didn't read that word. That's weird. Ruda. Dead. Oh. I think that thing is mad at us. All right. You're dead now, damn wolf. Well, now, Vasya, enter this maw. I don't think I want to. You'll be a witch as soon as you return. Well, have a white road. Uh, 
Okay. I'll just go in. A taste of what's to come, I guess. Oh yeah, look at that. There's like they're like hand drawn fire effects. Uh, do I go? Uh oh, get get back, get back in the candles, get back in the candle circle. No, nah, no. Nah. Is that you, Vasilisa? I should congratulate you. The first seal is open. Only six left. But will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. Um, the wish. I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant any wish? Indeed, it is as the legends dictate. Who knows? Maybe you will soon meet your beloved one, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals. No one in heaven or on earth, or under the earth, was able to open the scroll or to look into it. Yet. How do I open the seals? Oh, can't you figure it out yourself, girl? I'm disappointed in you. Oh, I don't want to be talked down to by a demon. What the devil are you? How rude, Basilisa. I am your chief advisor. It is I who grants you your sorcerer's power. We will be acquainted more closely in the future, I assume. Right, I'm gonna go. Not just yet. Have you forgot your purpose? I name you a witch. How many demons do you take for your service? Um... I have a feeling that if I if I take too, in too many devils, I'm going to probably get possessed by them. I'm going to have one. Surely I only need one at most. We do not give fewer than three imps, Vasilisa. I will choose you the best ones among old imps of Egor. Now go. Maybe we will meet again. You're kind of rude, so I kind of don't want to. I can't wait. That's it? That's a small prologue. I thought there was going to be a little more. I wanted to know more of the combat. Aww. I wanted to do more battles. Oh, never mind. There's more. <laughs> okay, good. Well, are you awake? The sun came up while you were coming to your senses. I've dragged you home. I understand that it's not easy to walk through the devil's world. So you've seen it. Are we home? Seems like it was in a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it's a good day. Did I not tell you? You should have been a witch a long time ago. New Bailichka. Okay. Well, what's done is done. Legend tells of the witch that the wish is beyond seven seals. I can never open the first one. Here's the second seal, the Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was that demon on the crossroads that did it. Maybe. I think that demons do play part. But what spirit is the Aspen one? I'll have to rack my head a bit. Maybe there's something in the books. You are now a witch yourself. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has been spreading. Must be Suskidis who told the family needs, who told the family heads. Now people will come to you for an advice. Now I'm old already. Not many teeth left. I, not a lot of witcher's power. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even bump into the right demon for your quest. Well, while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. You remember me teaching you what the, the book arts. Afterwards, hear out that visitor of yours. The wicked one has just been giving him trouble. Not at all. Let's get to work. Search for spirits around the district. Maybe we'll be lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Maybe after 40 years have passed, we won't be able to help. God helps. All right. Uh, let's read the book. 
Oh, I can change. Okay, so there's customization. Right side of the screen contains words that are in the black book at the moment. Left side of the screen is the storage of pages. Ooh, pages can be sorted with special filters. New pages are also rewarded after each battle. You may freely change the black book content. To buy new pages, you need to spend rubles. Number of pages should be between minimum and maximum numbers. So minimum of 13, maximum of 33. You'll be able to buy even more pages later when you will unlock seals of the black book. You may change the contents of the black book at any time except battle. Makes sense. All right, so this is what I have right now. I have a minimum of 13. You know what? That's uh, not enough rubles. I did a bad. <laughs> I I I I'm a dumb. I didn't realize what I was doing. I didn't realize. Oh oh well. I only had ten rubles anyway. I'll get Urzi later. Then. All right, it's fine. Uh oh. I'm just gonna, I don't wanna talk to him yet. I'm just gonna go to visitors. God helps Igor Evlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God helps. So I come for you with an offering, some flour for your house. Please hear me out. I won't waste your time, it's very important. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night and we began to hear strange sounds. Then a shadow began to darken a corner, the deepest impossible blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge of these matters. What should I do now? Peasant spirits and demons will ask for your help in magical matters. You are a Zanatka, a witch with a lot of knowledge after all. If you answer with the knowledge question correctly, you will receive a reward, experience. Sometimes your answer affects future game events. To learn the correct answer, you should explore the world and the Anmats... Oh god. Which contains an encyclopedia and short tales called Bachelors. Okay. That's going to be hard to pronounce. We also use a hint by pressing the knowledge button. Alright. Uh, during the night at the windmill, uh, he heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. Alright, let's... Um... How do I, how do I, uh, oh, here it is. About the mill that stood still. A man from Vyaka once lived in our village. He told stories. One involved a miller who had taken offerings to the devil, or else the devil would have stopped the mechanism of the mill itself. So as an offering, he gave part of his stores of flour, grain, and bread comes. On one occasion, he forgot and gave nothing. Then sure enough, the windmill was still. When the man went to investigate inside the mill, there sat the devil on a grinder. Threatening him with his finger outstretched, then vanishing. So the miller gathered some tobacco and threw it at the shadowed corners of the mill at midnight. The windmill started working again, and the devil stopped his mischiefs. All right, so this is the so that's the story we're looking at. So they're saying that the devil sat on the grinder, And the shadowed corners of the mill, they didn't say that the corners were shifting. Uh, is there more about it? Okay, one of two. Oh, oh god. Um, we'll go Kuldun Initiation. Being Kuldun is not an easy task. You endure a lot of frightful things. People tell a lot of stories like this one that comes to mind. See, a man decided to punish his neighbor for changing the field boundaries of his neighboring farm. So he went to the Koldun and asked, give me a chort to curse my neighbor. The Koldun replied, don't be so easy. Do as I say and you will have your chorts. Then he told them they would need to go to the bathhouse at midnight. So the guy plucked his courage, took a rifle and his cross. Scary at the bathhouse. He loaded his gun with his cross and shot at the hearth. The fiery dog emerged and opened its maw. The only option was to climb inside. And even though his instincts told him to, he did not make the sign of the cross. He remembered at the last moment that if he did, he would lose his hand. Climb down the hearth, of course, what would you do? So as soon as he entered there, beyond the maw, he saw stable tables, and small ones at the tables. 
I need one small chort to curse my neighbor. We do not give fewer that fewer that three. Said so, and the man awoke at the bathhouse with three chorts. Father, give us work. We want to eat. He gave them my cat to curse, other small tasks, and more and more chorts appeared. He tried to keep up, appeasing the chorts, but he became exhausted of body and of mind. In the end, the chorts took to entertaining themselves with the townsfolk, and all the village people were cursed. Oh, that sucks. Um. So from what I understand... Here, like, here's the mill. They say the miller gathered tobacco and threw it at the shadowed corners. So this is probably the, uh, the, the hint here. If it was a demon, he wouldn't be in the corners, he would be on the grinder. So this must be bandits, the work of bandits. That's what I'm understanding. Ruda. All right. Um, we saw some strange tripping shadows. I'm gonna say it's brigands, demons. It would be in the in the, on the grinder. Really? I don't think so. Such a shadow is no coincidence. Why do you work at night? Just asking for demons to tear you apart. What do we do now? Please help me. We have an old item that you may find some value in it. You better give it up if we help you. All right, Vasya, look around. What's going on with the wicked one? He may be of use to us. God damn it. His master at the windmill is not a regular one. Usually it's less chic, but the miller has some demons. I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. That sucks. That sucks. Because based on the... Uh, encyclopedia the demon wasn't in the corner we threw they threw stuff at the corner in order to ward off the demon the demon didn't come from the corner it came from the grinder you you tricked me game that was a trick uh, yeah I got something to ask why the hell why is that and one more thing we I've sent one demon to Kashiva village he must have cursed someone go there fix it You'll earn some money in the process. All right. I don't care anymore. Fine. The goal is to get to the location with the main task. We can't go to the main task location until you've visited the locations on the road. The game is saved automatically when you enter each location. You may save manually, but the progress will be saved if you've just entered this location. Let me open up the map, pressing location name. Okay, I get it. Like, there's a... Oh, additional quest to go to Kushiva Village. Um, let's do that. Let's go to Kushiva Village. I'll play up until I get to the main task, and then I'll stop. You stealthily walk among the village houses. At least you thought you were being stealthy. You hear a familiar voice call out from one of the windows overhanging the street. Basia, wait up. I have a proposal. We be quiet. We must whisper. I've got a neighbor, and I hate her guts. So curse her a bit, will ya? Use killer curse or something. Not a strong one, and I'll have a present for you. I kind of don't want to, but I, I'm also curious to see what this does. All right, we'll do. She will be swollen tomorrow. You'll see. We've just received your first sin. It's told that each sorcerer is fated to burn in hell. <laughs> You may decide the outcome of specific events in the game, and your decision will be represented by the sin characteristic. The number of sins affects the availability of certain dialogue choices in game endings. Oh my god. <laughs> it's told that each man has a devil on his left shoulder and an angel on his right. Whom will you listen to? Okay. So there's a, uh... There's that kind of system in this game. <laughs> now I know. Now I know what I'm, what I'm looking forward to. I'll try to not be too sinful. You notice a noisy family gathering in front of one of the houses. It's strange to see an entire family out on the street at this hour. Strange muffled noises escape from their house. Falling cutlery. Someone moving the furniture. Approach. Good night, Vasilisa. God himself has sent you to our place tonight. 
Hi, my peeps. Sorry, my, uh... My friend just messaged me through Steam. That's weird. He, he never usually uses Steam chat. Everything is torn apart in our house. The devil himself is here. Everyone is scared speechless. I didn't manage to get here. It's not simple for a fiend to get inside a human dwelling. What did you do yesterday? Oh, you know, I sinned horribly. No, we just drank some tea. The top, Natalia likes the tea a lot, and a tea liker she is. When we prayed and went to sleep at night, it appeared from the dark realms. Any time turned to a devil's mayhem, but I wonder why the demon appeared in the first place. All right, let's uh, let's look at the omnistution. That's weird. Wait, do I even have any information on this? Did he come for the chorts? Encyclopedia. Um, Larry Dog. Crossroads. There's nothing here. Um. Forgot the cross table where? How am I supposed to know? You know what? Give me a hint. Tea time. Demons cannot get inside through windows, but their appearance is often connected to badly performed rituals. Demons cannot get inside. Wait, demons cannot get inside through windows. How am I supposed to know that? I guess you would have to, like, there must be like a bigger encyclopedia that I don't know of. But they can't get through windows, so the only answer is you didn't cross the tableware. So have you put the cross sign on the samovar? Oh, that's it. We did not mark the samovar with a cross. Oh, silly me. Now we're plagued by demons. <laughs> oh, how clumsy. I feel that they don't... I feel like they don't take demons seriously in this household. <laughs> you should better remember next time. You know so much, Vasya. Even though you didn't know how to handle shadows at the corners! So please help us. Don't leave us in trouble. I will help you. It's no good sleeping in the street, is it? Thank you, Vasilisa. Take some milk for your journey. Come inside. Everything is overturned. The devil certainly had its way. You made the sign of the cross and take a couple steps inside. Can I explore? Demons made a mess. Threw the dishes and cooking pots around. But luckily, the brass utensils seem intact. The most damaged part is the shrine in the corner. Icon cases are damaged, and the candles are torn apart. You approach the fallen samovar. Suddenly it starts to shake and move, and in the dark the shadows are swirling. The devil is here. Prepare for battle. Oh, there's two of you, huh? Uh, what's this? Deals three for each round, ignoring. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, what do I have for keys? Oh, I got Ruda. Choose a target. This guy has shields. Oh, he's gonna put shields on. Alright, I'm gonna focus this guy first, because this guy is attacking me for three, and I'm fine. Alright. Three. Uh, the value of spells in fact by one for each other spell of the same color. I okay. Urazi. Alright, we're good. Do it. Yeah. Eat shit! Ruda! <laughs> he didn't even hit me. He was like over here. Alright. Now it's your turn. Uh, he's attacking me for two. I can block with Raga, with uh, Raha. Is that what it's called? Raha. Yeah. All right. Um. 
Increases damage in each word for four. In each round. All right, I'll use, I'll double scorch it. See what happens. Can I double waste? I can. And then Raha. All right. Um. Oh man, he's gonna deal five. I'm gonna have to use auto life for this. Increases damage in each word for four. Um. I'm just gonna hit him with what is he? And then. I guess I don't need Raha. I'll save it. I think he's gonna die at the start of this turn. Yep. Nice. Choose a new word. Buy the spells increased by one for each other spell of the same color. Does not use spell reading resource. Value of the spell effect is increased by one for each other spell of the same color. I can't... I don't really understand this. Does it mean like... The spells that I use or the spells in my book. Uh, get additional bookmark of this type in the next turn. Ooh. Oh, but I have to use this spell. <sighs> More options would be better. Mm, mm, um... Sure. Nepanit? Wait, what's this? What's Nepanit? I want to hit this. Nepanit? Oh, it's my book. <laughs> wow, I did not understand until it until that happened. Um, so I can put this in, right? Oh, wait, this is not the right store? Wait, where's the store? Huh. Yeah, exit. The elders of the family bow to you and thank you for helping them. The girl assures that she will adhere to the protective rituals from now on. All right. Uh, let's go back in my black book. I want to buy some new ones. How do I buy them? I completely forgot how to buy them. Maybe I can't buy them here. I have to buy them. I think I just have to buy them elsewhere. Interesting. What? Uh, I messed up. Oh, shit. Is that a Raha? Oh, my God. Where'd it go? All right, we're fine. <sighs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Let's go to the map. All right, let's go to the riverbed. Double. I thought I could buy new spells at any time, but I guess not. Silver glow of the moon catches glimpses of the rotten waters. You hear dull croaks nearby. Dull croaks. Is that is that good or bad? Can I read? Oh, inventory. Oh, I can't use them yet. Okay. Um, where's my? There it is. Oh, it's nothing. All right, never mind. Exit. Let's come closer. You come closer a couple of steps. Suddenly a demon appears, horned and shadowed. Well, I'm an idiot. Hmm. Urazi. And scorch it. Well, 
Oh, some health finally took damage. Um, some igla in there. I can't do anything, right? I kind of want to heal myself first before I finish it off. So I'll shield myself and then let Waste do the work. Finish them off here. Good. What's this? Firm. Word stays active within a spell for two turns and affects other words. What? Huh. Word stays active within a spell for interesting. I guess what I guess it means that I use it more than once. I don't get it. Guess I'll use Nava. Didn't you? All right. Ooh. This is interesting. Find wood to the north of Kemgord Village. When do I start walking around, though? Because I was walking around at the start. Standing amidst the black wooden figures, you hear a rustle in the trees. You read the protective spells, but out comes not a demon, but a person. The old woman in is dressed in old clothes. Looks like you've met a beggar. Well, greet him. Greet her. A witch! A witch! I can spell your kind from a mile away. Can you spare some coins? I don't need much for a living. A person is only as good as their cheddarable. Ah, sure. Why not? Here you go. Don't forget me in your prayers. Thank you. I will pray for your lost soul. Dangerous to go alone. Oh, thank you. Take this, a healing herb. Yay. going so it's just random events that happen near the forest edge you see a white towel on an old stump there's a bottle of milk and some that uh, near these gifts there is a birch charter peasants from Bigichi village are asking Leshy to take care of their cattle uh, give me a sec guys I need to see something right here that was okay so, I, as I thought, my friend that chat me uh, through Steam was uh, was uh, his relative. Um, what was I doing? Uh, there's a bottle of milk and some beer grade near the gifts. There's a birch charter. Peasants from Bigichi Village are asking Leshy to take care of their cattle. Is that good or bad? I don't want to steal the gifts. What happens if I change the... Charter. I'm feeling that both of these are bad. Wait, Leshy is um Oh Leshy Leshy's gonna kill the cattle. I can't do that. Change the charter. You make a new charter. Now Leshy will be helping peasants from Vilgort. The devil better help your village. <laughs> oh no! I made an even worse choice. I got plus three sin. <laughs> oh, that's what that's what happens if I get myself involved. Go over here. I'm gonna. I want to take a look at every location here. While traveling through the woods, you stumble upon the snake nest. Baby snakes are still in the eggs. The mother snake does not seem to be around. You got lucky. You make a small wall of stones around the nest and wait for the larger snakes to come back. Mother snake returns soon. Seeing the barrier, she fruitlessly tries to get past, but soon leaves. I'm gonna wait for the snake. Some time passes, and the snake comes back with a bunch of grasses in its maw. The snake touches the grassy mass to the stone barrier, and the wall instantly collapses. The snake is reunited with its nest. You quickly grab the grass before the snake hides it. The smell of rust and looks it smells of rust and looks bleak. The only noticeable thing is the cross shape of the four leaves. How fortune has smiled upon you. You have found a break herb! A bundle of aromatic weeds that opens locks and barriers. Ooh. 
Destroys enemy shields. That's interesting. That's interesting. Um, all right. Let's travel to the lake. Is that... Can I equip that, actually? What am I inventory? Like, I want to equip it, but it won't let me. Do I just go to my inventory every time I need to go to battle? Interesting. All right. On a high rise near Kachiba Lake, you see two silhouettes. One is combing the long hair of another. There's something strange in this uneven movements. You shiver in horror. I'm going to read a prayer. Black silhouettes disappear as soon as you say God's name. Oh, they were evil. Thank God I, I said a prayer. It's kind of weird. Witches worship the devil and God. It's kind of... I feel like they kind of like wishy-washy when it comes to their religion. The shadow of an owl passes overhead. It has crossed your path, which is a bad omen, since a man's path is intertwined with its destiny. But maybe it was trying to show you something. Hmm. 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 My curiosity will get the best of me in this run. Follow the owl. You chose to follow the owl, deciding to follow the object of a bad omen. Suddenly, a swamp is before you, and you stop on its border. It's dangerous to go forward. You start on your way back when you notice a devil's finger under your feet. That's an artifact. Devil's fingered. Devil is changing its claws so that the new ones would grow sharper and stronger than before. Their old fingers turn to stone and leave and have healing properties. Plus four health. Wait, is that? That's permanent. I got a per- oh, wow. All right, curiosity is good for me. All right, so I can go here or I can go to these last two areas, which I will do. I'm not afraid now. I got plus four health. You meet two travelers from Bikichi Village who are on their way to the fields. The three of you continue your journey together near the mouth of a chasm. One of them jokingly tries to shove you into the pit. Uh, I, I kind of screwed them over. I don't think I want to, I'm going to run away. You avoid another shove and run away to hide among the trees. Your companions call out, call out, but their voices are soon muffled by the foliage. The silence of the wood is torn apart by an inhuman laugh. Oh, they were fake people. Wow. That I, I just dodged a bullet there. I dodged a bullet. You can't trust anyone, not even yourself. You walk around the windmill and approach the Chud's forest. The darkness is grim and wraps around you. Only fir branches are whispering in the morning fog. Suddenly, there is a pack of demons flying around the windmill, throwing wooden objects around. Uh, check their debris. The pack flies somewhere east with angry screams. Check the wreckage. Some wooden logs and parts of mechanism. You also find a small sack of flour and you pick it up. Hmm. Okie dokie. Okay, so we made it to the windmill, but... Are you sure I can't buy any more? I feel like I should buy more stuff, but... Maybe it just happens each between each quest. Alright, um... I guess we'll just go in here. There I am. <laughs> I just hobbled into the map. The spruce branches, part of an old mill, stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who have been here at dusk or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of the wind, and other, dev other devilry. It is a place of dark energies. Let's look around. <laughs> Gonna look around what's over here. So now I got free roam. It's hard to see anything in the dark gloom of the night. Nevertheless, you feel your eyes are getting better at seeing the dark. The black book may be aiding you. Amidst the thick grass, you spot an old axe. Its blade covered with rust. Let's take it. 
An old axe that you found near the windmill. I got, I got more, uh, got more health. Um, let me look at my inventory here. Or, can I look at my current health? It looks like I can't use anything. All right. Let's keep going. Let's look over here. Windmill log. It's a carrier log. It's used to turn the mill. The old wood creaks in the wind. You can climb inside it. There's a small hole in the wall. Oh, let's inspect it. The old windmill is creaking from the cold wind. It's not so often that you see these kinds of mills in Sheridan District. Hmm. All right, let's climb in through. We clamber inside, but a misstep leads to a painful fall. Another attempt, and you are safely nestled in. Ah, dang. I lost health. Um, I can heal myself now, right? Boom. Heal. Plus health. Ah. Whatever. Here are the grinders. The grindstones are still, though the though the blades of the mill are turning. Oh, I see you over there. Vasilisa, can you explain to me what you're doing right now? Are you are you are you seriously stuck in whatever hell you're in right now? At least I can move away. She can't even interact with it. Whatever. Chest is for different tools useful at the mill. You find nothing of interest. Um, what's this? You study the cabinet. Among the different krinkas, old pots and birch bark containers, you find a sack with silver rubles. It might prove more useful to you. We'll take it. Oh, that's bad! I just sinned some more! God damn it! I... Is my moral compass really that bad? I think it is. There's a broken block of wood. Seems it's part of the windmill's mechanism. And a reason of grindstone standing still. Through the hole in the wall, you see the woods of Cherdin. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a demon? <laughs> Just a guy with wings. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that does look kind of demonish. I expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. Why are you here, then? Let it, it fight. Let it, it fight, demon. Why do you mess with the miller? Well, what do you want with the windmill, then? Oh. What do you want with the windmill, then? Haven't you figured it out? Maybe I was wrong about you. I thought you were a strong sorceress, master of wit, deduction, and intellect. One endowed with knowledge others do not possess. I guess not. The windmill is possessed, but this is the demon's... But is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it first appeared? I must think about why he's here in the first place. Let's use knowledge. Most often a sacrifice is being made when constructing the mill, so the spirits would help the help the miller. The better the sacrifice, the better the windmill works. Wait. You were lured by a sacrifice. You were summoned by a sacrifice. You would have been here since you were created, inherent with its location. Well, you are strong indeed. Not to mention I'm bound to this weakling of a miller. But I want a good master. Take me. Take me to serve you. And you will have your reward from the miller, and the reward of my presence on your journey. Yep. Kill two birds with one stone. Let's do it. I could use a demon like you, if not just for a conversation. Perhaps you are not as strong as you seem. There is yet to appear such a sorcerer who can outmatch the 13th brother. Yay, fight me. Yay. Four times two? Shit.
I think I overprotected myself. Yeah, I did. Four times two. Five. Eight. Um. Let's let's buff ourselves. Anything to protect myself. Um, so I'm gonna have to just go all out. We'll waste him. We'll do that, and then we'll go Ruta. Oh, damn, that buff really worked out. Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna buff himself. Um, all right. Do this. Um, we'll do this. And why not? Let's go, Igla. Oh, I attacked three times because of the firm. All right, so he blocked. Can I kill him in this turn, though? Four, five, six, seven. I might have what it takes. Yeah, I do. Uh, so let's uh, let's break his stuff. Did it break? Well, let's hope. Oh, it did. I'm ignoring his armor. He should be down at this turn. Oh, he he lasted one more turn. Shoot. That's not good. Oh, now he has. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I used that herb too early. All right. I just need a last one turn. Uh, can I? I can. Let's give him waste, and then that should be the end of it. Six experience. <laughs> right, a little too on the nose, don't you think? Old Pounder Miller inherited this pounder from his witch ancestors. All right. You took the demon for your personal service. He will be asking for work as any other imp would. The mill is now without a spirit. It is not your business anymore. All right. Let's go. Meanwhile, at the old house. And then he disappeared. He won't be ruining work at the windmill any longer. So you took the sacrifice upon yourself. Hope it won't backfire. Well, while you were gone, I thought about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning. Every seal needs a devil. The second one is the Aspen one. You have to think what to do next. Game over. Thank you for playing Prologue of the Black Book. That was nice. That was a nice look at this game. Um, 
it reminds me a lot of Slay the Spire uh, with some 3D and with some 3D uh, graphics. It's not bad. It's not bad. I would definitely, I would, I would probably wish this, wish list this myself. Um, yeah, overall it was good. It was okay. Again, it reminds me too much of Slay the Spire. I'm not sure just how I feel about it right now. I think I just need some time to think, to think about it. <laughs> 